What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and nomads? I'm Animagus, and today I want to give you everything you need to know about the brand new Brilliant event starting this Tuesday, April 7th, and running through Tuesday, April 14th, called the Burrow Besieged Brilliant Event. Now, there are going to be some cool features that are going to go along with this event. There are some bundles that I want to talk about. There's the new port key that will be one and a half kilometers. It'll be halved from three kilometers, and it will be taking us to... Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, which is really exciting and a really fun location. I hope to explore that and find a, a few Easter eggs here and there. But I do want to go ahead and jump into those quest steps, the things that you want to know. So let's go ahead and get started right now. So part of this event will actually be uh, increasing some spawns for a specific type of family, and that is Wonders of the Wizarding World. I know that there were a lot of people that had issues with this during the uh, Magical Mischief event, and that kind of created a lot of tension and a lot of problems for a lot of players, but they will be boosting those particular spawns, and I'm going to talk about those spawns right now. I actually uh, am on the edge of finishing that page forever, and hopefully we'll be able to push it across thanks to the boosted spawns of the Self-Playing Harp, the Dirigible Plums, the Crystal Ball, the Music Box, the Quibbler, the Howler, the Wanted Poster of Sirius Black, the Mandrakes, which is a high threat level Grop, <laughs> and the Weasley's flying car. Now, again, I don't want to overhype this. There is a chance that you will see the severes and the high spawns. I don't know that they're going to be a guarantee. I don't know that they will be a for sure thing. I know that because the brilliant event will be taking place at the same time as these increased or boosted spawns, that there will probably be a lot of overlap. So set your expectations accordingly. If you see one or two, consider yourself lucky. I'll just leave it at that right there. So because of these spawns being uh, increased, we will be given, you know, tasks that set alongside that. So for task set number one, as you can see here in the graphic, it will have us return five wonders of the wizarding world foundables for 150 wizarding XP, return three brilliant decoy detonator foundables for one powder dragon claw, and use one tonic for trace detection for two leaping toadstools. The rewards for that section when you're done with that will be 150 wizarding XP, 45 brilliant family XP, two restricted section books, one dark detector, and one silver key. For task number two, They'll have us use one Barufio's Brain Elixir for six snowdrops, return five high traces or better for one unicorn hair, and earn 2,000 wizarding XP just from traces for one silver key. Once you finish that section, you'll receive one Martin Miggs The Mad Muggle comic book brilliant registry image, 500 wizarding XP, 50 brilliant family XP, three restricted section books, and one strong extemulo potion. Now, for set number one and set number two of these particular uh, tasks, you can see that obviously they are geared towards potion and potion making. So make sure that you have either a Barufios in your pocket the day before. If you haven't had uh, any chance to, to plant some toadstools and you need toadstools, make sure you do that far in advance, even as you know, as recent as today, if you get the chance. So you can have those in order to use the Barufio's Brain Elixir. So I like to brew all of the stuff uh, a day or two in advance just to make sure that I have it on hand. And that will be a great way to help you get through task number two pretty quickly. On to task number three. Task number three will have us return seven wonders of the Wizarding World Foundables for 375 Wizarding XP, return seven brilliant Ron Weasley Foundables for one Powder Dragon Claw, and brew two Tonic for Trace Detection Potions for two Leaping Toadstools. Now, like I said before, I usually like to brew things in advance. So if you brew one uh, Barufios for this event or uh, you plan to do all of these types of things in advance. What you can do Monday night before the event begins is brew two tonics for this set of steps. So that way, when you hit step number three, you don't collect your brew potions. You collect your two tonic for trace detection potions. That will go forward and help you complete this step. And you will also get your daily task for brewing a potion out of the way. So that's a really helpful way and something that I do literally every time there's an event just to make sure that I get through these tasks really easily. Now, after you finish the third task, these are the rewards. 375 wizarding XP, 50 brilliant family XP, five restricted section books, one Barufio's brain elixir, and one silver key. Now on to the fourth and final 
set of tasks for this event. Earn 3,000 Wizarding XP from Traces for one red spellbook. Use two Tonic for Trace Detection potions for 55 Brilliant Family XP and return seven high traces or better for one red spellbook. After you finish all of those steps for task number four, you will get one Weasley is Our King, Banner Brilliant Registry Image, 1,000 Wizarding XP, one red spellbook, five restricted section books, and 50 gold coins. After you complete the fourth step, like there have been in the past, there will be a bonus assignment. You can get everything that you need for this brilliant event, except for the Pigwidgeon Brilliant Images. So, so that's something that you are going to have to get to the bonus assignment for. So the bonus assignment is as follows. Earn 7,500 Wizarding XP for two Doddle Drafts. Return 30 Brilliant Traces for the one Pigwidgeon Brilliant Family uh, Image. Return five High Traces or better for another Pigwidgeon Image. And return one Severe Trace or better for one Pigwidgeon Brilliant Registry Image. Uh, the final step there is use three Tonic for Trace Detection Potions for one Brufio's Brand Elixir, and your final rewards for the bonus assignment will be 2,000 Wizarding XP, 100 Brilliant Family XP, guaranteeing you a Brilliant Family Runestone, five Red Spill Books, and one Epilogue Title. So all of those steps are going to be fairly easy to complete just by playing the event, except for the Return One Severe. I know that they seem to really be leaning on the crutch of Grop and the Flying Weasley's car to show up at least once throughout the week. So hopefully this is not an issue. Uh, again, I don't know if it's an issue. I've, as of today, I haven't play tested this event or I don't even really know. So. Fingers crossed that this, unlike the Magical Mischief event, does have loads of Grop spawns because otherwise it'll be pretty rough. Before I get to the bundles, I do want to point out another one of the features. Other than just the one and a half kilometer port keys that we'll be getting, every time you see spell energy on the ground and you pick it up, it will reward you with five spell energy. It won't just be three, four, or five. It'll always be five. So that is a pretty cool feature to note. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the bundles and we'll review those really quickly for you guys. The store pack that you can get for free will contain all the ingredients that you need to make one tonic for trace detection. So six Bane Berry, four Bubble Dox Juice, four Angel's Trumpet, and two Irumpet Horns. Also coming in that bundle will be 25 Spell Energy. And again, that one is for free. The premium store pack, so the next level up, the one that costs 420 gold coins, will contain five tonic for trace detections and 150 spell energy. Not bad uh, value there if you have trouble finding tonic for trace detection potions. I know that there are some extremely rural players that have a hard time finding ingredients and spell energy at times. So if you have the coin, this might be a good deal for you. There's also another store pack that you can pick up for 420 gold here that will have three Barufio's Brain Elixir, five Potion Vault Capacity slots, and 100 spell energy also for 420 gold. And again, good value there. The capacity for spell energy and Potion Vaults are actually fairly expensive when you consider them in the grand scheme of things. So make sure you check that out as well if that's something that interests you. Last but not least, I wanted to go over the bonus bundle that becomes available once you get to the bonus assignment and not before. It's going to cost 2200 gold and it contains 15 tonic for trace detection potions, 15 potent stimulant potions, 10 Barufio brain elixir potions, and 150 spell energy. This is actually kind of nuts if you think about it in the grand scheme of things because that is... 40 potions for, uh, you know, I guess $20. So if you're going to spend $20 on this game or if you have in the past and that's kind of your thing or whatever, I feel like this is definitely worth it. The spell energy is 150. I mean, you're going to get that on the map anyway, but this is a, a very good deal in my opinion. Somebody may break down the math later down the road and prove me wrong, but on paper, first glance, it looks really, really enticing. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this guide. Uh, it usually is my most viewed and most liked video. So if you haven't already, please let me know you enjoyed the video by leaving a thumbs up down below, as well as clicking that red subscribe button and turning on those bell notifications so you can be made aware the next time I produce a piece of Wizards Unite content. There are all kinds of games going on right now and things that I want to cover in the future that we'll get to one day. Um, but I did want to let you know about that, as well as follow me over on social media on other sites like Twitter, and Twitch. I'll be streaming a little bit here and there on uh, Twitch, so definitely check out that channel. Make sure you follow over there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy this brilliant event. 
and until next time, peace. Thank you.